it's priced at a higher price point because the, the content, the value, everything in it is really great and amazing. Um, and so basically, by getting people in for like a $7 offer and they sign up for that, then they're gonna be more likely to buy the higher end product that I have. Now, the reason why you wanna optimize profit from that is because if you spend any money on advertising to get customers, that can be very expensive. Um, you know, in, in, in my case, if I use Facebook advertising to send people to my lead magnet and then tripwire and all that, it's actually costing me more money I'm actually losing money on the front end with my tripwire and everything per customer that I'm getting. And so I'm actually losing money. The only way I can make up for that money that I'm really making from or spending on advertising is by having the next piece, which is the core offer and the pieces after that. Because if I spend, you know, $20 just to get a customer, well, you know, the front end is, you know, I'm going to make $7 from that but it's not until they buy all my other stuff that I'll actually break even and see return on investment from that. And so that's why having the whole sales funnel optimized this way is extremely important. Um, but that's basically the core offer. So once you have buying customers that are buying a low end offer from you, then you wanna be able to offer more a complete course, a com complete package for them that they can consume. Um, and, and one thing I learned a lot about, by the way, just that I just have notes under this is to be able to test everything. You gotta test everything in your online business. You gotta test your headlines, your background colors, your prices, everything you have to test so that you can optimize things fully because those little tweaks that you make, although it might seem very small, can increase your conversion rate by 10%, 20%, or even more in a lot of cases. And so being able to test your whole sales funnel, testing your front end offer, your lead magnet, your tripwire, your core offer is very important. Okay, after the core offer, number four is your profit maximizers, and these are basically upsells. So once somebody buys something from you, you wanna be able to offer more things that are essentially geared towards helping them and solving more of their problems or might supplement or complement something that they've already, um, you know, something with, with the course that they just bought. An example of this, every business really does this. If you go to amazon.com, they have a bunch of upsells in place. You know, they're upselling you on different products, they recommend different products, once you buy stuff from them, they, they send you emails offering related products or similar products that customers also bought. And, and those are their profit maximizers because they, they might not make as much from you if you just buy one time from Amazon. They want you to keep coming back and buying more and more stuff. So it's the same sort of thing um, in your sales funnel is once they buy something, you wanna have an upsell that is basically another opportunity to help solve them. And a simple one could just be, hey, let me help you you know, and just offering coaching or consulting because a lot of people that buy stuff, the, the challenge that they have is actually going through it and applying it. And so by offering that you're gonna help people to, to go, th go through it and coach them on the process and hold their hand or help hold, make them accountable to it, that can be a great upsell that you can offer to your clients right away. Um, let's see what else I have here. In my case, um, like I have my full disclosure membership which is basically a place where I put more content in every single month related to Kindle publishing, and I'm always testing stuff and you know, advanced uh, videos and, and things that I'm learning um, that can help people make more money from their Kindle books. I also have interviews with a lot of great uh, Kindle publishers. So it's basically a place where people, I provide more value to people that are maybe more advanced or wanna expand or take things further with Kindle publishing. Uh, but other ideas that I have in my case is providing different softwares, softwares related to Kindle. You know, I've got a few that are in development right now, but I mainly want to make the softwares for myself because I, you know, I, I want to, there's certain things with the Kindle publishing process that I want to be able to do easier. So I want to get the softwares made so that I can use it in my business and make more money from Kindle. And I figured that there's also a demand or a need from other people that are following me or going through my course that can benefit from it also. And because it's gonna cost me thousands of dollars and a lot of time to develop these softwares, then I might as well sell it and make it available for everyone else also. So um, that's another example of how you can maximize your profit and make more money from your customers more on the back end. Because again, you're not gonna make as much money from your customers on the front end. Um, okay, so the last one is the return path. And this is basically that once people have kind of gone through those steps, 
There's gonna be certain people that buy everything that you offer and there's certain people that aren't. The people that don't, you wanna kinda of take them through the path again and there's a lot of cool strategies for that. So for example, one thing you could use is Facebook ads. With Facebook, a lot of people don't know this, but you can, um, you can target, the, the targeting with Facebook is really remarkable. You can basically target people that maybe um, are on your lead magnet list, but they haven't bought your product and you can actually add their emails to Facebook so they have advertisements show up for all those people that didn't buy your product. Or people that maybe bought your core offer, but they didn't buy your upsells. You can actually add them to Facebook and have Facebook ads show up just for them that promotes the upsell. So you're kind of taking them through the path all over again for whatever, for the people that just didn't buy um, that stuff. And then another important thing as well is that if people aren't gonna buy from you, let's say after 90 days or something like that, and they're on your list and everything, you paid money to uh, get them on their list through advertising and whatnot, then Ryan Dice has what, he's called, what he calls the bucket. And the bucket is where you start to promote and send to them uh, kind of like affiliate offers. So you're sending them offers for other products that aren't yours and you're, you're sending those to them that can hopefully help them and get them to buy something. Because a lot of people, a lot of your customers or prospects, they're not gonna buy from you for whatever reason. Maybe they don't like you, maybe they don't resonate with you, maybe for whatever reason, who knows why, but they don't like your message or what you're selling. But there might be another product that's related to yours that they will buy just because they connect more with it or it just has a different angle or a different approach. And so he kind of has that bucket where he, after like I think 90 days, he'll start to promote and send them to other related things. And that's essentially um, the main things that I want to talk to you guys about with, um, with that, that funnel. And I've benefited a lot from this. And you might be thinking, hey, you know, like this is like, this is just like all about selling people. And um, you know, it's all about the upsells and I, I hate that. I don't want to do that or I don't want to have all these upsells and be able to always sell people and stuff, all that kind of stuff. And I, I kind of had resistance to a lot of that as well, but the approach of how I look at it differently now is, is I'm not just trying to sell people on stuff. I'm actually more so trying to provide value to my customers and find what needs are missing and what demand there is for them and try to fulfill that need and demand and be able to offer great solutions for them. And so you don't wanna, and it is a balance too, you don't always just wanna be sell people, you wanna provide a lot of great value as well and that's kinda how I've wanted to set up my business is not just be a salesperson because if I did that, if I was just promoting and selling stuff to you guys, then you guys would not have any relationship or trust with me because I wouldn't be putting your interest first and I think that's a really important piece is that in any business, you have to put your customer's interest and needs first before yours. And if you focus more on them and adding value and how you can help them, whether it is a product or service or even just free stuff, and you're constantly adding value to them, then they're gonna be more likely to do business with you again and again and again in the future. And, and, and I, so, I, so I don't see anything wrong with that if you're trying to provide value and trying to help people in the best way that you can. And if you're gonna spend time or money to create a product that can provide a solution for someone, then of course you should get paid for that because you're the one that's had the idea and put in the time, the effort, and the money to be able to develop that and offer that to other people. So I think a lot of people get caught up in the limitation of being afraid to sell or have negative associations towards that and you're never gonna succeed at any business or online or offline if you're afraid to sell and you have that mindset. If you focus more on adding value and helping people, then, then it, it, the selling will, will take care of itself because people will wanna know more of what you have to offer and what, you, you know, what, you, what products that you have and what you sell. And really the best marketing is having a great product, having something that helps people because other people are gonna talk about it and share it. And that's been my approach with blogging you know, my blog, I feel like each blog post and video I do is like a little product. I spend hours on it and because it's so valuable, people will share it and they develop relationship and trust because I'm giving that stuff away for free. And so I hope this kind of made sense to you or applied to you in some way about the sales funnel. There was so much other great stuff that I learned from this event. Um, you know, as I mentioned, Frank Kern was there. He talked a lot, a lot about how to build a consulting business. Um, he, he is making $175,000 a month consulting and you know one thing I got from him was how credentials don't mean shit and you know you could have a doctor or somebody that has all these credentials and everything but it doesn't really matter Frank Kern for example was like a C minus student all throughout high school and never went to university or college or whatever 
but yet he has these incredible results in his life of what he's been able to achieve and accomplish. And because of that, people want consulting or want to learn from him. It's not based on all these credentials, this certificate that he has. So that was kind of a great breakthrough for me. Um, they shared a lot at the event about different split tests and things that they're, they're kind of taking you into their business and what they're doing that works and what's making them money. Um, so I found that very valuable. I learned a lot about blogging from Neil Patel who runs uh, Quick Sprout and Crazy Egg. And by the way, that's one thing I applied to my blog is I set up Crazy Egg, which is a heat map tool that allows me to basically track the behavior of all my visitors on my blog. And I found that to be very valuable. I think he has like a, a 90 day free trial on his website if you want to check that out. Um, another thing as well is like just at this event, I was going for a lot of dinners and spending time with great people and networking with people and we'd give each other feedback on our businesses and there's just little nuggets, little things that people would say to me or, or, or recommend to me and I have a whole list on my phone that said, hey, try this, do this. And that, you know, just that alone, just receiving that little value or benefits has already made a difference in my business and helping grow it. So I find all that stuff so valuable by going to these events, the people that you meet, the little nuggets of gold, they, they might be little small things, but those small things add up and can really make a huge difference in your business. So if you get a chance to go to any of these events, I highly recommend that you do. Always be learning, always be growing. Um, even if you know the stuff already, you can still benefit from it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.